It's the weekend! And I know that makes some of you very sad because you won't get Netlinked for two days. <sighs> but that just means today we've got to give you your fill of tech news to help you through the long dark ahead. So, <laughs> things are looking up already, aren't they? AMD has indicated in a press release that their upcoming Polaris GPUs are not meant for the high-end or enthusiast segment. No. One paragraph in the press release states that Polaris 11 is targeting the notebook market, while Polaris 10 is aimed at the mainstream desktop and high-end gaming notebook segment. Okay, so what does mainstream mean? Well, previous AMD GPU roadmaps put mainstream below the performance and enthusiast categories, so wait. What is happening? Is AMD going to release a new GPU architecture that's only used for low to mid tier cards? I mean, it sort of makes sense, given that the main selling point that AMD has put forward so far is Polaris's excellent performance per watt, but geez, are you trying to let Nvidia walk all over you? Is, is that what you want? Come on, AMD. You're better than that. Or maybe AMD is just playing everyone because they got so much money coming in. Because in other AMD news, the company says they've secured three major gaming related system on chip designs that will bring in 1.5 billion in revenue over the next few years. We know that the PS4.5 will probably have an AMD chip and some rumors point to the Nintendo NX possibly having an AMD SoC as well. But that leaves us with one extra chip. Could this mean that the new Xbox hardware Microsoft is almost certainly launching in June could be an Xbox 1.5? But they said they weren't doing that. They lied to us. Of course, it could just be like another Ouya or something, in which case we can settle down. And some online shoppers had a bit of a lame surprise when they tried to buy certain games on Amazon yesterday. Grand Theft Auto V, Far Cry Primal, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and some other games were unavailable to purchase at all if you didn't have an Amazon Prime subscription. Now sometimes Amazon has Prime only flash sales, but non-members can still buy the game. In this case, if you don't have Prime, you can't even buy the games at all. Amazon has issued a response saying that one benefit of Prime is exclusive selection on many great products and that non-Prime members can either sign up for a 30-day trial or purchase their items from another seller. Apparently Amazon places and lifts these Prime-only restrictions as they see fit, which they actually did in this case. They lifted it and then put it back. And they've been doing it for at least a few years now. Huh. <sighs> Maybe you should go to another e-tailer. I've heard of a good one. MCIX. <clears throat> oh, but, but we don't sell games, so. Never mind, carry on. It's time for... Beautiful day. What the Yeah! Wow. Nice job, man, but you don't have to be so angry about it. Send a clip of yourself saying quick bits or lightning round or snippy snippets to at NCIX Tech Tips on Twitter or Instagram for a chance to be featured on Netlinked. Eve Valkyrie launched as an Oculus Rift exclusive, but the game is eventually coming to the HTC Vive and PlayStation VR, and now its developer, CCB Games, has announced that Valkyrie will support cross-platform multiplayer between PC and PS4. Oh, okay. We'll see if you can keep up. <laughs> on the PC. Lenovo announced the Zuck Z2 Pro, which is available with six gigs of RAM, a slew of health tracking sensors, and official iCloud support. Huh? I'm confused, but it's only available in China, so no big. Speaking of China, that country has banned Apple's iBooks and iTunes Movies storefronts for an unknown reason. Just because China likes banning and blocking things, probably. MSI has launched a new compact desktop gaming PC called the Aegis. It's available in various configurations and has this kind of cool angled mount type thing going on. Apparently the base is the power supply, so. It was necessary. Tesoro launched the Gram Spectrum, a low profile mechanical keyboard with shorter keycaps and a shorter travel distance using Tesoro's own agile switches. It's RGB, but more importantly, it comes in white. I might get me one of these. I always wish mechanical keyboards were smaller. And Ark Survival Evolved, that dinosaur game, has announced Survival of the Fittest, which is basically the Hunger Games, but with T-Rexes, Pteranodons, and dragons and stuff. Apparently there's going to be an eSports style ranking system that gives out cash prizes to the best players. I feel like I might just jump in there a couple times just to spam PETA in the chat, you know, why not? News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Potatoes have skin. I have skin. Therefore, I'm a potato? 
Dang. Never thought logical premises would be my undoing, but there you have it. I guess I'm a potato. <sighs> I have to tell my wife. That's right. I have returned to tell you about an anime service that will blow your mind. Crunchyroll offers the largest, most diverse collection of anime series you can find outside of Japan, where anime is from. There's Attack on Titan, Naruto, One Piece, plus new titles like Digimon Adventure Try and Erased. But don't you know, that's only the free version. Let me tell you about Crunchyroll Premium! All the newest episodes of your favorite animes available as soon as one hour after they air in Japan! Professionally subtitled, available on all your devices, and in glorious ad-free 1080p HD! All that for $6.95 per month, but you can try it free for 30 days by going to crunchyroll.com slash NCIX. I tried it, and it pumped my power level up to... Over 9,000! Alright, that's enough, and that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. You can click here to watch more videos, follow us on social media over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. There. Now you're all set to go and enjoy your weekend. Hope it's a great one. <laughs> See you guys. I'll miss ya. Oh, what's that? You want me to stay? You want me? No? Okay, you're done. All right, yeah, you go play. Get out of here.